this is B from Sorcery Soap and Hocus Pocus Crafts. And today I want to show you all my molds. Okay, that's a fib. Some of my molds. Because I wanted to show you what I think works and what I think doesn't work. And um, anyway, just to show you what they work, what they look like. So here we go. This is me in my big drawer of molds. I have a couple of these drawers, by the way. But these are my favorite ones. I made these blue ones from uh, some molds, uh, plaster molds somebody sent me, and those are really fun. And I bought this one, and the reason I bought this is not so much because of the, I mean, they're just basically generic, so I have little pots that I can make, but I like how flat they are. I've, I think I've talked about this before, about how flat things are, so you could see this one is not this was a hand press mold it's not flat at all and i'm not sure what people other people use these for these are all food grade by the way that's my only caveat so make sure they're food grade then you're probably not going to get in trouble with that this is from a set that i got from more and sweets lorena sweets lorena sweets i think i'll double check on that anyway i made some christmas trees one year if I can find a picture, I'll show you what that looks like. Those are really fun. These are for leaf things that I make. Anyway, I like these because they're flat and they're easy to scrape off. thought this would be good but as you can see okay so this you see how firm that is that's kind of the texture I'm looking for this is too floppy and there's too much detail so the soap dough gets in there and you can't pull it out um, I made this one from another soap mold I had which I don't really see in here I'm sure it is oh so this this is for melt and pour I make little round balls in this. I made the dragon eyes with this. And let's see here. Chest pieces. There's a host of stuff in here. My pr The purple ones are, these are from somebody who used to sell on Etsy and I don't see them anymore. And then you can tell she stamps the backside, which is really nice. And these are from somebody in the UK, and it cost me a fortune, but I couldn't find them anywhere else. And they're meant for something else. They're definitely not meant for soap because I'll show you in a minute. But if you scrape it, it's not level, and it, it takes a lot of fiddling. And I bought that one. That one's awesome, but hard to do. I've used that one quite a bit. I'm sure you can remember that. The bones I used, but I like making my own handmade bones. And here, let me show you some of these. This, this never turned out right. It never turned out right because it's too, I don't know if you can see that, but it's too, it's not flat. So you don't get any sharp edges. So that's kind of a pain. Oh, here's the one I bought that I made a bunch more of. This is too soft. That's why I remade this mold. Let me see, where is that? Yes, these are not organized at all because that's the level of chaos. And these, again, too soft. Good for melt and pour. Way too soft. Don't like them. They kind of break down a bit too. So that's that. Oh, I want to do this guy too. Um, these are impression mats. They're hard, but I just use them for, I roll it out and then I just use, oh yeah, I want to show you one more thing. I, want, I just use it to make impressions. You can see it's discolored a bit even. So see these right here, more impression mats. It's just garbage. I mean, it might be good for other things. Let me just say, it might be good for other things. I'm just like, they never tell you that, by the way. Like, I've read the descriptions, and I never really read that. I never see it. Because if I did, I wouldn't buy them. 
and I like this and I think, oh, you know, and then I kind of, I never return those things and I kind of suck it up. Unlike somebody who left me a one-star review, by the way, that said, it wasn't melt and pour. <laughs> I don't know. I use soap dough, the word soap dough on the description like 5 million times, but no, it wasn't. And you bought for me twice. Jeez. But you can't, you know, you can't really argue with people like that. This one, I just tore this apart, which I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but I did it because I got tired of this. And now I don't know where the other piece is. Yeah, here we are. Like this. So if you get these, don't do that. That's a silly idea. I, I did a silly. So these I bought. Again, these are really soft. But you know, I think I bought these because I couldn't buy I liked the, the I think this is the Fina. And I liked the um shape of it, and I couldn't find that shape anymore anywhere. So I bought this hoping I could remake these into a a silicone mold like this so I did the same thing with this because she I bought this from let's see okay so I bought this let me put that down I bought this this is the original and then this is the copy I made so I made um I don't remember oh I made something hard in here I don't know what it was now I can't think but anyway and then I remade the mold because I thought I could get it flatter, but I couldn't. And I guess what you need is these are pore molds. So some of them are vacuumed and there's a whole complicated process that goes along with making these kind of molds. And what happens is they um, use liquid silicone. And I've tried this too before and I'm not so great at it, but I think that's what this is. So I poured it. You see how flat it is? I poured this one and then it came out really good. Generally, if you want to get all the air bubbles out, you vacuum seal it. I don't have the ability to do that. And so, yeah, this one I made from this one. And I know you're not supposed to do that, but this is just too soft. And instead of returning it, I thought, oh, I'll see if I could make better and just see. And it's a little thin right here. So when I push to get the soap out, the soap dough out, it distorts it. Anyway, it's very tricky to make these. And I try not to criticize the people that make them because I can't make them better. <laughs> but I tried. Of course, I wasn't looking for, I didn't tell them I was looking for something, and I don't fault them for it because they don't advertise it for soap dough. But if I'm looking for, oh, I won't say it. I'm looking for melt and pour. I looked for the words melt and pour, not soap dough, but whatever. This one here, see again, like I can't really criticize that creator because it's a great mold, but not for soap dough. Because when I go to push it out, like that, the soap dough gets mangled. So, yeah, I have a ton, a ton of these. And the, the, and these, I love these. I think these are some of the best ones. They're easy to store. They're not very sticky. But she doesn't have the designs that I like. So... So, yeah. there see this one here i thought was a good mold too so i threw it in the cart i mean granted they're like seven dollars or twelve dollars or whatever these were not as these were super expensive i don't remember but i was like shocked at how much i saved and saved to get these and of course the shipping too was big but see how thin it is right here yeah i could have said something but I'll just move on. This one here. I made this one. Did I make that? I think I did. No, I didn't make that. I made one similar like this, though. It's all right. These I made. Not good. Out of charms. You can see the charm in there. This one I remade. Too thin right here. Kept it. Oh, I couldn't tell you. I threw a bunch of them away. So, anyway, let's get started. 
So I wanted you to see a bar of soap that I've had in the shower for about a week. Yes, it has a dreaded orange spot right there. I don't know what happened with that, but and I can't even tell. I was trying to figure this out. Is it a stamp or a stencil? I think it's a stencil. And so people are asking, how long does it last? And, you know, the longer you let it cure, the longer those are going to last on there. Because I can't remember. I have a stencil and a stamp, both in the same. But it's so fine. I'm going to think it's a stencil. And I remember when I made these. So it makes me really happy that that's lasted for so long. Anyway, I think it's pretty. This is carnation pink, which is on the website. Can't put too much of that cornstarch in, otherwise, it's just enough to keep it from sticking. All right? There you go. That came out pretty nice. And I try to clean up the edges so they don't look all frayed and rough. And then if I um, paint this with mica, it'll stand out even more. I used to give these away as soap samples too. I think they're fun. I might do that again, except that then they're not scented really. Here, let's do this one. This one's complicated. And I just mixed a bunch of leftover soaps. Soap doughs together. You can see what that looks like. Obviously, too much soap. The more I can clean up on the back side, the less work I have on the front side when I pop it out. The nice thing about soap dough is that it'll mold. So I can see this isn't the design right here. So I'll take, fix that. And then see how it pushed right here? I can't it pushed right along here when I popped it out. So these are pretty tricky. But anyway, there's that. We have these guys. Let's do Ganesh. He's pretty complicated. He is the Hindu god of mischief and mayhem and trickery. Sort of like uh, Loki from Norse uh, mythology. I'm going to use this neon green. It's so great and 
right. You know, I think now I was just reminded today, I just have to put my head down and do the work of life because it seems totally chaos. And I've been watching videos about people that are quitting Instagram. And, you know, you can't even see likes, you know, if I, I can't even see my own likes anymore. Well, if I go to this one place, but it's so complicated. And I'm like, I don't know what your motive is. I don't know what you're trying to do, you know, because clearly I can't reach anybody that even wants to follow me. And you have to have so much of this and so much of that. And it's just a joke. And I, and I see people that are making it really big on Instagram and I'm like, you're, it's just embarrassing. Actually, it's really embarrassing that I'm not going to humiliate myself to do my work. I mean, that's really the goal, isn't it? To degrade and humiliate of the system. I shouldn't say that probably, but I'm not going to do that. It gets even to me after a while. So what do you do? I just lay low and let the system do as it will and then watch. Because I'm not interested, honestly. I want to live, yeah, and I want to make a living and be productive, but I'm not interested in their games and all that rigmarole and ridiculousness. There we go. See how it kind of comes curved, but if I lay him flat, I can mold him. That's why the back has to be super flat, but you can see that it's really not. You can't get it out of the mold super flat. Anyway, if I do that too much, let's see. There. Okay, let's do the owl. It's kind of tricky. Oops, like that. And you can see he's a little bit. Oh, and there he just came right out. That's kind of cool, huh? They look a lot better once I paint them, but they're really fun. Anyway, something. So I hope you have a great day. Hope your soap dough stays pliable and you find some inspiration somewhere. Thanks for watching.